welcome back to Stark Reality Garage. Hey, um, after a couple of weekends of uh, pretty heavy duty off-roading for this Jeep, um, I've got some repairs to do so uh, and some upgrades. And um, my drive shaft uh, did not fare well. And uh, there's a reason for that. So I'll show you what the problem is and uh, I'll get this drive shaft uh, rebuilt and uh, back in the Jeep. All right, so here's my drive shaft and uh, Obviously, I've upgraded over the years. I'm going to put in my SYE. And uh, this double carden, um, while we were off roading, we hit a big rock and it kind of tweaked things. And um, uh, what you can see right in there is the uh, ball joint right in the middle. And it should have a seal over the top of it. So there's no seal. The seal got broken. Um, obviously, the junk gets in there. And this thing was chirping like a angry bird underneath that uh, underneath the Jeep as we went except for when we went through mud puddles and then it would get all lubed up and then it'd be all right again and um, so I've got to rebuild this end um, so two new uh, u-joints and a new ball joint in the middle and we'll get this thing put together so it's just a bunch of you know working on the press pulling everything apart so we'll get that done but let me show you uh, what happened underneath the Jeep all right so we're down here underneath the Jeep uh, let's see transmission um, oil pan now you can see there's some huge dents in my oil pan and um, I landed on top of uh, I like can call this big rock there's like a tombstone and as we went over it and land it landed right on that and uh, smacked that pretty good so big dent there it's not leaking or anything so we're pretty good there but my problem is that my whole transmission and uh, mount and everything kind of pushed up and back a little bit you can't quite see it maybe see it here let's see if we can get it up there so the transmission mount right here is kind of tweaked back a little bit and what that caused is we go behind it back here is here's your yoke here in the back where the drive shaft would be connected this little spot right here my double carton started hitting the body of the uh, Jeep so everything got pushed up you know up towards the body just enough to where uh, it was banging on it so um, pulling it out I've got to you know we got to figure out well, how if I can push this back or tweak it or what um, but uh, that I think that accentuated the fact that uh, that that seal went out because you were increase the angle um, uh, down to the rear and so uh, so I got to fix this up get this readjusted first I got to get the drive shaft fixed and then we'll get it in and see what we can do to get this thing figured out so um, that's kind of the worst of my damage on this trip and um, so we'll get this thing squared away uh, to uh, rebuild this double carton it's it's just you know it's just doing u-joints basically um, you've got three of them on one of these shafts one at the back and then these two at the front with the the little ball joint in the middle just picked up a rebuild kit off of Amazon. It's got all the pieces you need. It's a 13, these are 1310 U-joints. So they give you three of them and the ball joint. Um, really, this one is actually just fine. I just, um, not too long ago, pulled it apart, greased it and everything. So I know it's fine. These ones may be okay, but um, the ball joint is my real problem. So I could all just do them all at the same time um, since I've had this for a number of years. Um, I will say I did not ever grease this ball. You can grease them. And, but you have to pull this out of the Jeep in order to do it um, because it's only open on the top here when up against the Jeep. It's never open on the bottom where you can get to it. So you have to remove it in order to do that. It's four bolts. I probably should have been doing that. Um, but, you know, live and learn. Um, all right, so I got all the clips out. Obviously, they're not that hard. Um, you may want to spray in there. I mean, they get a lot of junk and they get a little crudded up, but I need one of those pliers and a little pick and you'll be able to get those out pretty quick. Um, so the next trick is to uh, start pressing these things out, um, to get these out. And um, the easy way to do it, uh, there's a bunch of ways to do this. I happen to have a press, so I'm going to use the press. And um, a three quarter inch uh, socket fits in there. And I think this is a one and like a quarter or one and a sixteenth. I think a one might actually work to go over the top on the bottom to press them in and then a pair of pliers to pull the caps and so uh, we'll get that done next. Alright so I got the first U-joint out 
and uh, not too tough. Get out of there. You can see this is the seat for the ball joint, and that's the back side of the that attaches to your yoke. And uh, press worked fine. Once you kind of get things lined up and get the right length, they were on there nice and tight, so I had to use uh, this vise to grab them and get them out. They are they're they're not dry inside, but I also <laughs> smelling them. It smells like the muddy water we went through more than it does grease. So uh, they uh, were probably not as greased as they ought to be. And one of the other... all right, so got the first uh, U joint out. And I realized I could just pull this thing right out because the ball um, fits right on the little post right there. So um, you can see what's left of the um, of the seal, which should have been like this. <laughs> it's just shredded and gone. It's, the little slinger is just gone, and that's all that's left—a little teeny piece of rubber. Um, this thing is just so dry and beat up and not in good shape. This is what the new one looks like. Hard part is you got to have a little attachment to grease it um, like that. I got it, so I got to find one of those. I don't know that I have one. So um, this thing is so crusty and ground in there. It was just squeaking to high heaven. So, um, uh, but it did hold together. Got to give it that. So. Um, uh, we'll uh, now I got to do these other U joints, and we'll have this whole thing apart. We can clean it all up and uh, get ready to put it back together. All right, all done on the press. Always juggling everything is the hardest part on the press. But it all apart. Um, the last one out. Um, probably the trickiest thing is you probably ought to pull this, uh, the double carton little carrier out first, and then pull it out of this last piece, just the way it ought to be. And then you've got this little spring that sits here in the middle. Um, gives it a little a ball tension, I think. So now my trick is I've got to clean this all up these things were in really, really tight, which I guess is a testament to the, they've never been changed yet. So I'll sand this, get it all cleaned up, looking good, and then uh, start the reassembly. All right, so I got these things all cleaned up. They cleaned up pretty easy. Some uh, brake cleaner and the rag, and I actually used uh, my Dremel with a little uh, uh, steel brush on the end. Get them nice and cleaned up. Started putting in the first one here. I'm gonna put in this bottom one first. Um, it's easy to use the vise to get them set and then the press to finish them off. So uh, that's how I'm doing it. And then I got this one. I'm just about to put the first clip in and then uh, I can drop this on top and uh, we'll uh, keep moving along. All right, so I got the two uh, yeah, U joints uh, put in there. One of them gave me a little bit of a hard time getting it lined up, but I got them in there. All the clips are in and everything. Now it's time to put the joint back in. And uh, there's not. This is not that complicated. Um, I think probably the most uh, one of the things you got to watch out for. This is holding your needle bearings, but it also has um, the spring inside. So you got to pull that spring out of there and make sure that that goes into this little guy right here and that uh, keeps it lifted. And then this is your little grease slinger, so that goes on the outside. So we'll put that all in next. All right, I missed videotaping this. Sorry about that. I and mean, I'm not gonna pull it apart to do it again. Um, but this works well with the vise, getting these two caps uh, on, because you have, to, you have to pull this down against the seal in here. There's the seal. You gotta pull it down against that seal to get it to squish in so that these are in the right line to get in. So. It's a little tricky, um, but you'll know. You can gently put pressure on. You can pull and squeeze with your fingers and move things around. You can pivot this around to get it to line up right, and then it'll pop right in. So I'm not taking it back apart again. Um, uh, but now um, these are pressed in nice and square. They're inside the needle bearings. Now I can go over to the press, and I can finish setting these in. So uh, we're uh, most of the way there. All right. The last thing is uh, you want to fiddle with this thing. Make sure it rocks around. 
but you got it all seated. I did find I had to reseat the seal on the, on the bottom of the ball. Just used a screwdriver and got that seized back in. And, and once that got seated in there real well, it started rocking really well. So we're in good shape. Um, got to one last nipple to put on. And then really it's ready to go back in the Jeep. Um, so uh, that part is done. All right, so I just finished uh, taking the uh, Jeep out for a little spin after getting it all put back together again. And luckily everything works like it's supposed to. And underneath here, the axle, uh, or the drive shaft, uh, completely reconnected. And uh, it's close up here. It's close to the body, but I can still, I can get a hand between it. So that's not much different than it was originally. And uh, I was able to get these bolts uh, realigned. Um, so really all it took was taking the, the plate off, rearranging everything, giving it a chance to settle back where it belongs. While I was at it, I also did the front drive shaft. So uh, while well, I had all the tools out, I redid those and put the new U-joints in there. They were pretty dry and muddy as well. So overall, pretty good project. Nice and quiet again. No more chirping birds and uh, ran nice and smooth. So uh, one kind of maintenance uh, repair done and uh, now we'll move on to another uh, upgrade. And uh, um, I gotta remember to grease that thing a little more often. So don't run into this again. Although it has been uh, like five years, so it's not like it was yesterday. So, um, and uh, so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again next time.